So in this question, we're given uh, this uh, function square root of x, and we're asked to find the right Riemann sum. And so what we're going to do is, I'll just qualitatively draw this out. This would be the function square root of x. And we're looking at interval 0 to 2. And we're going to divide this into n subintervals, which means that this would be let's see, like this. That, which means the the length of each of these intervals would be 2 over n. And uh, I'm just going to call it delta x. And the right Riemann sum you're looking at, this is, this is the first slice, you're looking at the value of the function at the towards the right of that box. So if you're looking, say for example, the first one, if this is x1, this area would be uh, the y value that corresponds to that, to that coordinate, uh, times the uh, the length of this interval. Same thing we're going to do here. This is x two, uh, and the corresponding value would be y two, so on and so forth. And the last one would be something like that. And um, the y values we can find from the form of the function. So it's going to be square root of x one. And I'm going to factor out the delta x, which is really just 2 over n. So this is the sum we're looking for, but I have to write it in terms of n. And if you look here, x1 is going to be 2 over n, just the length of that interval. And x2 would be twice that, because I have two blocks here. And then same thing, x3 would be 3 times 2 over n. And what we have to do is to replace it here. And I'm just going to write the first few. So it's going to be uh, root of 2 over n plus square root of 2 times 2 over n plus square root of 3 times 2 over n. And you're going to start to see the pattern. So this is going to be a summation where this is the number that's going to keep uh, going up, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is the k is the variable 2 over n, and we still have the 2 over n outside, and the k is going to change from uh, 1 to n, because we have n such subintervals. So that's the, um, uh, I guess, the, the, the <laughs> this writing that sum in the summation form. And if you look at the answer choices that matches with choice e, the difference is that I've written as k times 2 over n, but it's really the same as 2k over n. So the answer is e.